This video is about how and why to take a diet break and my experience of taking a diet break and what happened. Hello YouTube fam, welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this is my friend Frida who features heavily in a lot of my videos. And my channel is about helping women over the age of 40 transform their bodies. And if you're a woman over 40 looking for diet and weight loss tips, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna cover diet breaks, why you should take a diet break, how you should take a diet break, and what the benefits of taking a diet break are. And keep watching right until the end when I reveal how I got on with my 10 day diet break. The idea of a diet break is that it's for a short period of time, typically 10 to 14 days. And rather than being in a calorie deficit, we go into what's called maintenance and carbohydrates should be a minimum of 120 to 150 grams per day. Why would you take a diet break? A diet break has physical benefits as well as psychological benefits. So the physical benefits are that it can work to actually benefit your metabolism. What happens when you're in a calorie deficit is your body adapts to being in that calorie deficit, so needs fewer calories to survive. So what we can do when that happens is bring our calories back to maintenance level and then there's the psychological benefits. So if you've been in a calorie deficit for a longer extended period of time, it might be 10 or 20 weeks, it starts to get you down, doesn't it, a little bit. You're weighing out your food, you're hungry some of the time. So bringing calories back up to maintenance will just be better in terms of our psychology and making us feel better, being able to eat some of the foods that we want and we enjoy. What's the evidence that it actually works? There are two studies that have been carried out and one of them is very well known. It's talked about in a book called Flexible Dieting by Lyle MacDonald. In this study, which was carried out in 2003, the subjects of this study were given a six week break from their diet and some of them had the six weeks just over a six week period and the others had the six weeks broken up into two week chunks and this was a 20 week diet so they had a break of six weeks and what happened is the people that didn't have the break of six weeks had exactly the same weight loss as the people that had a break in the diet so that was the benefit they were managing to break from their diet but it still didn't affect their overall weight loss in the end. In 2017, another study was carried out by the University of Tasmania. And what they found, they took people on a 16 week diet and they gave some of the subjects a two week break and the other subjects didn't have a break at all. And the subjects that had the two week break actually lost 19 pounds more. So this study shows that actually taking a diet break means more weight loss. So up next, I'm gonna cover how I got on with my diet break and whether it supported the evidence that I've just talked about in terms of the research and studies that have been carried out. So I recently took part in a photo shoot and then a couple of weeks later a video shoot and i had been preparing for these for around 20 weeks where I'd been in a calorie deficit and then six weeks before the photo shoot I took part in the six week shred challenge and I'll link that down underneath in the description so you can find out a little bit more and take part in the six week shred challenge yourself. 
But the idea was that I wanted to get really lean for this photo shoot. In the last part of the challenge, I was actually down to 1,650 calories and I was doing around sort of 30 minutes plus cardio a day. And so, you know, I was been in this calorie deficit for quite a long time. I took the diet break following the video shoot and I've now been on that diet break for 10 days. Um, what I did is just eat intuitively as it's called. So I didn't weigh my food out. So I'd had over a year and a half of dieting and weighing my food out. So I decided I didn't want to weigh my food. I was still going to carry on and eat a healthy whole foods diet, but have the odd treat here and there and still have something that was high in protein. I've been mainly eating plant-based food, eyeballing everything, not weighing it out, but looking at the portions and kind of thinking, yeah, that's about right. That's how I did it. So how did I get on? Well, I'll put the stats here. I actually weighed at the start of this 53.7 kilos and 10 days in, I actually weighed 53.6 kilos. So there was no weight gain at all, not really a weight loss, but just staying exactly the same. And that's around 118 pounds. The video shoot took place a couple of weeks after the photo shoot. And I know that I weighed myself a couple of days before the photo shoot and I did get as low as 51.7 kilos, which is about 114 pounds. That's because I was doing something called peak week. You deplete your glycogen stores and you sort of go quite low on carbohydrate. And then the sort of day before the shoot, you sort of put all the carbohydrate back in. And a couple of days ago, I actually got up to 55 kilos, which is 121 pounds but that's dropped back off again. That's really good news because I've been eating some of the foods I enjoy, sitting down with my family and having family meals, which I don't really do very often, only occasionally, you know, Christmas day and stuff like that. And then even when I'm sitting down for family meals, a lot of the time I'm eating different food. So it was really nice to just be able to enjoy the food together have the odd treat here and there and then at the end of it all in the 10 days actually be aware that I haven't gained any weight and in terms of what I've looked like I'm just putting some comparison pictures up I think I've kind of stayed relatively the same if I've gained anything it's probably just a little bit of water retention that I didn't have before what I should also mention, during the first seven days of going on the diet break, I actually also took a break from training. I didn't do any resistance or weight training. All I did was go for a daily walk and do a bit of yoga because I wanted to give my body the chance to kind of replenish itself. Three days ago, I've put the training back in, so I'm now doing my weight training and a little bit of cardio. So would I do it again? Absolutely yes. You know, I hadn't had a diet break like this for over a year and a half. All I've had is a day or two here and there. And I think what it did for me is I didn't go off the rails and completely binge, which I was really worried I was gonna do that because I had this really nice long stretch of 14 days to have this diet break. I didn't feel like I needed to cram everything in in one or two days of having a diet break. So it was fantastic for that, really good for me mentally, not having to weigh my food out, but I still feel like I want to eat healthy whole foods because that's kind of what agrees with me, it agrees with my digestion, and it just feels better, doesn't it, to eat stuff like that. And then I may continue for another week or two on maintenance because I'm not looking to shred or lose weight at this point in time. So have you taken the diet break? 
What's your experience? I'd love to hear from you. So please do comment below if you've taken a diet break. Have you experienced weight loss like that University of Tasmania study or just remained the same like me? Or maybe you've gained a little bit of weight. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in watching more diet videos, I'm going to link up here a playlist of my diet videos, including what I eat in a day and another video on how to calculate your calories and macros for women over the age of 40.